Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm about ready to install a deadlock, electronic deadlock security uh, door lock, Amazon Basics. Stick around, we'll take a look at how easy this is to install. It's great for vacation properties or on your own property. I've got this on my own home property and I'm at my vacation property here now in Kentucky. And looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. It looks like all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. Stay tuned, let's get this installed. All right, first things first, let's open the box and see what's in here, what we have to work with. Got your deadbolt right here, a striker. We also have a set of keys. I'm going to toss these. I hate keys. Some attachment screws. And then in here, we have the actual mechanism that we'll be working with today. Here's the outside. Nice flat panel, so it's weatherproof. Uh, you can wipe this off very easily. The numbers do light up as you start pressing them. It'll take, I think, four to eight digit combinations. What I like to do on vacation properties is assign this maybe about three or four different combinations to give them to service uh, people coming in if I have to have service. Uh, from afar if I'm at home in Florida and I need to have somebody to get access to the garage here for the property to get something out of it I can give them over the telephone or by text the entry code to get in So this is going to be mounted right up here guys like that Now guys, if your lock is anything like mine, uh, your door set up, uh, this deadbolt here, the plate on it is a little bit too thick. It's sticking out and it's hitting on the door jam right there. So I'm going to have to chisel a little bit of this out. No problem. If you have a chisel, just uh, chisel that section out there right in here. Now guys, I don't have a chisel and this plate here, the deadbolt plate, is kind of concave in here. So the outer edge is what I need deeper. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't have a chisel, like I said, I'm on vacation property. So I'm taking a screwdriver and a hammer and I'm just knocking in around the edge of that plate cutout in order to sink that uh, plate into here deeper. And it's making me a groove around there. I don't know if you can see it. See how this works. Yeah, nice groove. Looks pretty flat. A little bit more at the bottom, and I think we've got a little bit deeper. Yeah, that looks nice and flush now with the edge of the door. 
That's how you want it. Now let's test it. See if we get any resistance closing. That's good. It's actually resisting on this bottom latch more. None at all up here. We got it. Let's finish the install now. Okay, now it's saying when I install this lock thing, it's got, uh, the lock has vertical position or horizontal position. Same as this, the knob. We got horizontal or vertical compared to what handed door you need, uh, how to set that. So I looked it up on Google and it appears I have a right-handed door by this illustration. You can see that right-handed door here. So right-handed door says have that knob and this uh, rod here, lever, and the vertical position. Make sure you fish this wire, electronics wire, through that oblong hole right there. And then match up your screws. It seems easy to do the first screw because you can kind of tilt this plate aside and look in there as you aim it up for the hole. The second screw is a little bit more difficult. Got it. And you want to make sure this is lined up level and straight. You can take a small level. I'm going to do mine by eye. Take a look at both sides. And that looks pretty level. Screw this on. This part, internal part, screws on with two machine, three machine screws. They kind of look like this. Machine screws. They're going to screw into here. They're going to screw into here, here, and here. Three spots. All right, guys, we got our wire connector plugged in nice and firm, and we're going to go ahead and make sure this is in the vertical position for a right-hand door. If it's left-hand door, the other side, you want it in the, uh, the horizontal position like that. But we want it in this position, vertical, same with that lever. And just put it in there. You'll have two short machine screws like this. They go at the top here. You have the one long machine screw like this. That goes in the thick part at the bottom, right here. Make sure you don't cross thread them. Make sure these are nice vertical level. Go ahead and insert your batteries. Your battery cover goes on next. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and enter the starter code that it comes with. Is one, two, three, four. First, you have to touch the panel in order to light it up and unlock. So it's unlocked now. Now, watch, we're going to lock it. So I'm going to hit the lock button. And we're locked. It's working, guys. So in order to do your code, you have to touch the screen first to make it light up, and then you can enter the code. Same if you're wanting to lock it with that lock button right there. You need to touch the screen first, and then it will activate the lock. So I got to touch the screen to light it up. One, two, three, four, unlock. And then to lock it, touch the screen first, and then lock. That's how you do it, guys. Now we gotta put our custom codes in, and we're all set for our vacation property door entry, deadbolt lock, electronic style. All right, guys, the final test of our electronic deadbolt uh, door lock. Got it from Amazon, Amazon Basics door lock, electronic style. Got it right here. Nice flush keypad, weatherproof, everything you would want for a vacation property. Set as many codes as you need for people you need to get entry into your vacation property, maybe uh, rental guests, stuff like that. You've also got a set of keys. Keys to me, no thanks. I'll just lose them. So we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out. So you gotta touch the keypad first. And unlock. Guys, thanks again for tuning in to another one of my videos at my vacation property. If you enjoyed this video, or if you're going to try this lockout, leave a note in the comments. Let me know that you like the video or you're going to give it a shot. I'd like to hear from you guys. I'll leave all the links to this product in the description below. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. Keep it on my feet. To the beat, my favorite song Keep it on repeat Please don't let it fade